Are you ever going through a difficult situation and you think, if only there were someone who's done it before to help me navigate this terrain? This is what Allie Woodard, who is the president, CEO, and founder of Fristers, has done for teen parents. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. I'm excited to have the opportunity to share with you. Well, yes. we're excited to hear. So Thank tell you. me a little bit more about Fristers. First, how did the name come about? Well, Fristers stands for Friends and Sisters. And I uh, wanted something very um, uh, inviting uh -huh. uh, because we're inviting teenage mothers uh, mm -hmm. to our programming. So you, you're just putting it out there. And I was reading, is it true that um, a teen pregnancy, mm -hmm. so a teen mom, mm -hmm. even if it's intentional or not intentional, will ultimately beget another teen mom. Is that how it goes? Very often. Um, I was a uh, pregnant at 16, and I was also adopted, and had later learned in life that my biological mother was also a teen mom. So um, I think it does go in cycles. Wow. Mm -hmm. And That's you weren't even, but you weren't even in that environment. So it really, it was kind of deeper. Yes. Yes, absolutely. But that's why we created Fristers mm -hmm. to specifically help teenage parents uh, build healthy and stable lives because they're vulnerable to so many mm -hmm. uh, situations. So what exactly do you do with them? You have a structured program, you have we a series do. of things? We do. So in Orange County, we have five city chapters. So we're covering all of Orange County, offering support and education for teen moms, teen dads, the teen parent couple, and for children. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so each one of them um, has a combination of first providing a support group mm -hmm. for them so that they're not isolated and feeling alone. Yes. And then they're with other teen parents, they see that they're, they're not the only one. And then we have a curriculum filled with classes and workshops that help them through high school graduation, finding employment, financial literacy, parenting, healthy relationships. Uh, you name it, we're helping them uh, get equipped and empowered uh, to be strong parents and healthy role models for their children. You know what, this sounds like parenting 101, oh, 102 absolutely. and 3 that everybody could use. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I was mm -hmm. just barely thinking about that. So I have a, a son, my oldest son just mm -hmm. went to college and he's a freshman. Mm -hmm. He has been a, a high achiever in his life mm -hmm. and he's calling me saying, hey mom, how do I use this credit card? Mm -hmm. um, hey mom, I'm gonna make a payment here, will you pay this for me? And mm -hmm. even at that age where he's living on his own mm -hmm. and you know, by all accounts, he's doing well, so I've been told, we'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but even then, you know, he really needs a, a strong support group, and so I can't mm -hmm. even imagine what it would be like. I actually was thinking about that. I'm like, what, what would it be like with him as a parent at this right. age? It would be so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're, they're truly our children raising children, mm -hmm. and even if we, you know, don't agree, you know, it, we kind of all come together because we want to support them as they're raising their child. Do you find that in the family structure that they, um, they're they separated, kind of sent off if they have a family structure that doesn't support them or, or they do they not be. usually have a family structure? Um, well, sometimes they're actually abandoned by family mm -hmm. and friends who don't um, maybe uh, understand what they're mm -hmm. going through and their whole priorities change once they have a, a child. So imagine a 16 year old um, still in school, um, no driver's license, no car, no high school diploma, no job, and yet she's raising a child. So there's a great deal of support that mm -hmm. we provide um, to help her really learn how to grow up and grow into a very strong parent. So you're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. How do you get funded? Where do you get your support from? We're privately funded, okay. so individuals and groups who donate, we have mm -hmm. a monthly giving program, uh, we have fundraisers all throughout the year, uh, we have corporate sponsorships, um, we have family foundations and corporate grants that support our work, um, but it's all uh, from uh, wonderful people like you. That's Amazing. wonderful. Where do you see the most um, progress being made? Like through your support, is it through your support groups in the sense of community? Is it through your training classes? Is it through something else? 
Uh, well, I have to say it's it's all together. It's it's a formula that mm -hmm. we've created that's really changing their lives. The support group really improves their mental health. I, I would imagine. Absolutely, that's the first step. To know you're not mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I that's did that huge. with like a divorced mom's group when mm -hmm. I became a single parent. Like all of a sudden, my family that still supported me and let me live at home, mm -hmm. they they had no idea what to do with me. They had no mm -hmm. idea what I was going through and. And so having that support group, I mean, just from that perspective, is so important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But then the education is mm -hmm. so important. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all about a hand up, not a hand out. Mm -hmm. So we're really equipping them with classes uh, that are teaching them how to live, whether it's time management and organization, whether it's parenting, whether it's financial literacy, opening a banking account, whether it's interview technique styles, how to find a job, how to keep a job. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, the basics of a handshake and eye contact. Um, we're giving them all these tools. And then the resources in the community. Um, we connect them with wonderful agencies and, and private and public businesses um, that can help them in different areas, whether it's legal or food banks. That's or really great. How long have you been doing this? Ten years. We just wow. celebrated our ten-year anniversary. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. That's so wonderful. you have graduates now who have yes. actually been able to li live into this education and model. How are they doing? For the most part, we hear they're doing wonderful. You know, we have contact with some of them. Mm -hmm. um, they serve as volunteers. Um, That's great. They come back. back. They mm -hmm. come back. That's they wonderful. they they become peer mentors to the other mm -hmm. young moms. Uh, they donate. Mm -hmm. uh, they lead some of our groups. That's um, amazing. And so it is a wonderful thing and rewarding wow. to see them come back. Do the dads stay as connected, for the most part? The dads um, is a wonderful addition to our programming. Mm -hmm. You know, we really wanted to connect the and keep the whole family mm -hmm. together. Um, so our couples groups um, are are really key to reaching the dad. Um, moms know they need help sometimes right. more than dads, mm -hmm. um, but we engage the dads and in our couples programming we're really teaching them how to build a healthy relationship, which I know as you know married I would have loved some classes on that <laughs> as well. No, it sounds like things that everybody needs, Absolutely. but oh my goodness, especially given the situation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's neat because what it sounds like is it's like it's all of the lessons that we all need to be learning anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you've created a really special environment mm -hmm. where you can speak to their particular situation and life mm -hmm. challenges. So that's, mm -hmm. that's really cool. How yeah. did they find you, the girls? Um, very connected in the community. So uh, the County of Orange, Public Health Nursing, and the different teen programs within the county, other agencies we work mm -hmm. closely with, referral okay. relationships, uh, teen parent high schools, mm -hmm. hospitals, um, and then just word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So if somebody knows a girl in need, mm -hmm. how would they find you? Fristers.org. Okay. They can give us a call. They can go online. Um, we welcome new parents to our program um, all year round. And we have locations uh, from San Juan Capistrano to La Habra. Wow. So I have one last question. Mm -hmm. What advice would you have for people who are friends with a, a girl or a boy who's a teen parent? Mm -hmm. Like what, what should we say or not say? Um, well, I think that one of the greatest things they need to have is hope. Mm -hmm. You know, that it's, it's going to be okay, and there's actually people and uh, organizations out there to, to support you. Mm -hmm. You know, that you're not alone, you're not the only one that this happened to, mm -hmm. and why don't you step out and let them come around you mm -hmm. um, and help you build a successful life. That's great. That's wonderful advice. Holly Woodard, thank you so much for being thank with you. us and sharing the information about Fristers. I know people will be looking for you now. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.